Dr. Rupal Mather here, Board Certified Natural Medicine and a Weight Loss Specialist, and today I wanted to show you how to apply a CGM, a Continuous Glucose Monitor. Today I'm going to use Stello as an example. Stello is the latest CGM to hit the market and it does not require a prescription, which is very exciting. It's also a 15-day sensor, which is an upgrade from Dexcom's G7, which is only a 10-day sensor. And the cost is $99 for two sensors, so for a one month supply. Whereas the Dexcom G7 is $64 for one 10 day sensor. The other great thing about Stello is it does not come with required alarms. So if any of you have ever worn a Dexcom or a Freestyle Libre, and you don't have diabetes, you were just using it to see how different foods affect your blood sugar, you may have gotten annoyed by some of the alarms for highs and lows. Whereas with the Stello, we don't have that problem. So when you open the box, inside is the actual sensor, along with a packet of information, an outer patch. What you're gonna wanna do before you attach your sensor is to download the Stello app and be ready to scan your sensor once it's on your skin so that it can be activated. It does have a warm-up period, which I believe is 30 minutes. Keep in mind, you do have to download both the Stello app and if you want a provider to review your numbers, for example, in my practice, I use continuous glucose monitors all the time to be an accountability partner to patients, but I can't see a patient's blood sugar data unless they also download the Clarity app and then put in my practitioner code so that they can share their data with me. So you do need two apps if you're gonna be sharing with a healthcare provider. So here we have the Stello loading device. Before you do this, they do want you to wash your hands, so I'm gonna use some hand sanitizer. And the place to install the sensor is going to be the back of the arm. I like to go right underneath my arm. Look at that, you can see some of my body fat jiggling. Now that is exactly the subcutaneous tissue. That is where you want the sensor um, for the best accuracy. That's what's been studied. Some people do wear their sensors on their abdomen, but that has not been studied and it's not an FDA approved location for your sensor. So what you do is you open it. So the interesting thing I just realized is that it does not come with an alcohol wipe. So you are gonna want to make sure you have access to an alcohol wipe before you attach your sensor. And you're gonna wipe just kind of wipe in this whole area, but basically you're gonna go on the back of the arm, kind of on the upper part of it, can go straight in the middle if you like and if you have enough subcutaneous tissue there. And then this kind of clear plastic part, so you actually want to push that against your skin, and then you push the button. It was a loud sound, but it did not hurt. And there it is, the back of my arm. They do want you to Go around this tape three times just to make sure it's really on there. I've worn my Dexcom um, in the ocean and it stayed on me. Um, you know, you wear it in the shower. Uh, the other thing they want you to do is push down on the um, sensor for 10 seconds. And then it does come with this over patch, which you can put on top. Not everyone does, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and apply it so that I can make sure that this stays for as long as I would like for it to. And that also just goes around. And you probably will want a mirror to do this, or maybe you should also be making your own TikTok video. Um, there we go. Okay. And so now it's on me, so the next thing I'm gonna do is scan. You do need to keep this um, this QR code gets scanned by your phone and that's how you start the warm-up process and then you are good to go and you will have some data in about 30 minutes and then again you can take a look at that in your app for the last 24 hours any data beyond the last 24 hours goes to the clarity app so even if you're not sharing it with a healthcare provider the clarity app will give you some of your older data so that might be useful